Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Scandinavian Freckles and if you haven't been here before my real name is Linda and welcome to my channel. So today I am bringing you my first ever let's play and this one is going to be a little bit dark. I'm warning you. So around uh, here on YouTube I've seen a lot of different challenges and, and storylines and everything on The Sims and I've seen that The Sims Supply did you know the prison challenge um, which I thought was a really great idea and then the Ligacy did uh, like the dungeon where her like she had like this evil family who kept people in the dungeon and I thought it was brilliant I thought it was just super cool and I thought that I would mix it up a little bit I have been wanting to do this for months and I've never done it and then for some reason I thought it would be a great idea to film it and put it out there and you're probably gonna think I'm crazy so yeah but um so if you have been here before on my channel you are seeing the house right now which is the Georgian uh, glamour which I have on my channel which is the speed build that I have um, I think it's my most popular build so far so thank you so much for watching it um i am so happy with this house i i love it i really really do and um it took me a long time to build it but you know it turned out great so i love it so um what i have done is i did a little short video on this i created a dungeon uh, a secret dungeon so what you need to do to get here is basically you go here I'm going to show you you go through all of these bushes and then you can see the stairwell going down and then when you get down you see this um, it's like a trophy room I would call it but at the same time like a scary game room um, and I thought that this would be like a, a room where you know the kids would like come and do some scary stuff and their parents had you know some trophies all around and some collectibles and stuff like that so i didn't really put uh, that much things in here because i wanted it to be a pretty basic room which means that you know people wouldn't really bother going down there um and as you can see there is a little bit of a um, hidden door so this is like a secret door um and i love the idea that the sims had this uh because it's it makes everything a lot more fun I feel like so when you go down when you go inside the door and then you go downstairs you come down to a secret dungeon so what I have done is I have pictured this uh, let's play in my mind and I will try to play it for a little while and I will find out the things that will not work out with it and then the things that will so this is going to be like kind of like a test run the first few episodes and then I will do something a little bit um, different uh, maybe like in a few episodes when I get used to the idea not the idea but when I know how everything is going to work with this dungeon and stuff like that uh, because I have pictured it as it's a family of four as you can see down here right now so there's a father who is Richard Grayson and I'm going to introduce you to them right now so basically uh, this is the family as you can see right here this is the dad he is Richard Grayson um, and you know he's just a normal guy he is the head of the family uh, now this family is super rich they do not work um, they they eat just uh, don't care about working there ha they have so much money they own this beautiful huge house so why do they need to work you know so on the outside um, he looks like a perfectly kind man and he is married to Emily and Emily is such a beautiful woman I loved how she turned out her eyes and everything and I wanted yeah I and Emily is such a beautiful woman I just love her whoops there you go so uh, her style is such like a classic mom um, and she's just so beautiful and then they have these two kids who are also 
pretty adorable. So this is Hannah right here and then you have Tyler over here and he looks kind of creepy for some reason. I don't know if it's the clothing, you know, he looks kind of posh and at the same time he like kind of devilish. I don't know. But yeah, on the outside this family looks like the perfect, the picture perfect family uh, who lives in these and this beautiful huge mansion and they just have the perfect life um, however they have a very dark secret now Richard and Emily basically um, they have this ritual I would call it uh, where they basically lure people into the house and if they don't get along with them they will lure them down to the dungeon and lock them inside the dungeon um, and the kids do not know anything about this they do not know that what is in the dungeon is you know what's in the basement is a, um, a hidden door um, they use that room all the time but they have no idea that there is a secret door there um, so yeah, so what I will do, uh, so I will play this and um, I have thought about making it kind of into a legacy as well. So basically what I want to do is I want to play with these characters and these sims and then when the first child, I think I think I made them into twins, but you know there's only one, there's always one child who um, ages first. So the first child to age will be the one to Hair, inherit everything um, so when once the parents die he will inherit the house he will inherit the secret and he will inherit the um, dungeon as well and obviously and when I say age I mean into teenage um, because it's the first time that you will see them age and I think that that's a perfect time to choose which one of them will continue the family legacy if you want to call it that um, so yeah they basically kidnap although they don't really well yeah they kind of do they kidnap people that they don't get along with uh, who are already inside their house so if they invite people over and someone is rude they will be put in the dungeon now the rules for the dungeon obviously as you could see they have a bed and a sink and a toilet that's pretty much all they have it's like the basic thing that you need to survive um, obviously they are there is no way they get food um, so uh, Emily and Richard would have to feed them now I have made this into kind of like a dark thing so they will only feed them every I think twice like every two days I think that sounds great uh, I have written down three times a week but I think you know every two days is more than enough um, which is pretty much three times a week anyways um, so yeah we will be doing this and I'm going to start so I'm gonna push play and we are just gonna let them go inside this is the first time that they've seen the house as you can see they don't really have that much money left um, which kinda worries me now I'm not gonna give them any money to begin with they're just gonna have to work with it um, and yeah so if you did not watch the speed build, I will show you the house. So you come into this beautiful hall. Um, and as you can see, there is this beautiful living room. Well, it's not a living room. It's, well, yeah, it's a family room. Um, and then you have a little bit of a powder room here. Then you come through the other. And there's a little dining room connected to the kitchen, which is a beautiful kitchen and then there's another toilet here and upstairs there are um, three bedrooms there is the main bedroom which has an ensuite bathroom and a walk-in closet and then on the other side there is the boy bedroom and the girl bedroom um, and then they share this bathroom right here and then you have the TV room um, I wanted to do like a surround system some, and I do this in a lot of my uh, builds um, just so you guys can don't think that I'm crazy because I know that this is like music um, st like a stereo but I use it as right 
like what it is um, and yeah so I'm going to show you now the garden the garden is so beautiful you guys I love it um, so it has this beautiful huge um, pool with a bench just right there and obviously people are going to be walking by because there's a pathway right here but I don't think that is a problem to be honest um, but yeah so as you can see right here there is where's the roof there um, there is this barbecue uh, and outside dining area and I love this idea I don't know where I got it from like I thought about it and I was like oh my god I'm gonna so gonna do it and I did so I'm going to start playing um, where is everyone where are you guys you why are you outside what are you doing outside where are you going why in the world is everyone going outside what's wrong with the house um, as you can see uh, I have my game in Spanish and if you don't know this it's because I was raised in Spain so I speak Spanish on a daily basis and um, for some reason obviously I put put it I usually put everything in English when I like get a game or get a movie or whatever but for some reason I put this one in Spain and I have no idea I've tried everything to change it back but I just can't change it to English like it doesn't want to change um, so yeah so I am going to make Emily go make some food for her family because she doesn't really seem to um, care that much to be honest so I am going to, no, I'm not going to make something. I'm just going to cook dinner, serve dinner, and I'm going to make a salad. So go ahead, go make a salad. And I'm actually going to get the kids to go downstairs. Um, first of all, I'm going to get Richard to lock the door, because obviously you want to lock the door just in case the kids... Um, Mm, 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 mm. okay only for him he's the only one who can get inside I will change that later but the kids will have to come here and basically I think this is a game right Just play with and Tyler there you go so they can play here a little bit I'm gonna speed it up how long does it take get them to get there uh, it didn't take them that long. I'm sorry if you can hear the wind. Like, it's super windy today, and at the same time, it's super hot inside. So I had to open up the windows, and I'm sorry if the the wind is, like, making a lot of noise, and you can't hear me. Uh, I'm going to go shut the window just so that you guys hear me. So while the kids are playing down here, I am going to go upstairs with the with Emily and see if she's done cooking like how long does it take you to cook a salad sweetheart okay so she's not here she's probably eating um, and yeah I'm gonna okay why did you go downstairs she's probably worried that the, her kids will find out she's really creepy I'm gonna go upstairs, go to the bathroom, and then you can tell everyone else to go eat. Like, why haven't you told people, oh my god, it's two, it's, quarter, it's half past two in the morning, so that's not good. I'm sorry if you heard that. I, it was just me taking a sip of water. Like, I am so thirsty today. I don't know what it is. But yeah, I think the kids need to eat something before they go to bed. As you can obviously see, I'm al almost trying to kill them here. Um, she's going to have something to eat. He needs to have something to eat. Um, she, Where is she? Where's Emily? Emily is so tired. She can go to bed. That's fine. Richard is already sleeping, um, which is weird. And I don't know where everyone 
so Richard is sleeping, Emily is sleeping, Tyler is also dying from hunger. Um, obviously I will do this challenge if I am able to, you know, keep them alive and long enough. <laughs> Because as it's going right now, they seem kind of helpless, all of them. Why don't you guys go into the dining room? What is wrong with you guys? You don't like carrots? Well, sweetheart, that is just what you have to eat. Like, you eat what you get. Um, okay, I'm going to have Emily... No, I'm going to have Hannah go to the toilet before she goes to bed. Um, and I'm going to have Tyler. What do you want to do? Yeah, you're gonna go upstairs, you're gonna go to the toilet, and then you're going to go to bed. Um, now as you can see, both uh, the kids' room have double beds, and that's just because I feel like it's the most comfortable. Now they're not big kids, but they're, they're gonna get theirs eventually and I didn't really want to change the rooms completely when they grow up so I decided to just put a, a double bed now I've had a double bed for many many years and I love it and I think it's great to have like space when you're sleeping where did you go to bed sweetheart oh she fell asleep on the couch okay that's sad that is that's really sad how tired could you be Okay, wake up. I'm going to wake you up and you need to go to your own bed because you can sleep down there. That's weird. Go to your bed. And then, I think it's funny how Sims, I mean, it's, it's so realistic, but at the same time, it's so fake. So the funny thing about it is like they will meet each other like in the stairs and they won't even look at each other. <laughs> and I'm like, what mother doesn't even look at their child when they find them in the stairs you know like that's so weird it's so funny it makes me laugh so hard but yeah um and now both parents are kind of inside there you know when you are sleeping like i don't know if this happens to a lot of people but i think it does you know where when you're sleeping and um well, not when you're sleeping. When your parents are sleeping and you're at home and you don't want to make a lot of noise because you don't want them to wake up and you don't want them to get mad or whatever. And then when you're sleeping in the morning and, you know, your mother seems to do everything to annoy you, like she starts vacuuming the house and, you know, doing all these crazy shit. Um, sorry for saying shit. <laughs> and the funny thing is that in The Sims, both parents are right now in their kids bat bedroom talking and playing on the computer and it's like it just reminded me of my mom who starts vacuuming the house when I try to sleep in the morning and then somehow she ends up blaming me for sleeping late but yeah so the salad went bad I'm going to clean it and then I'm going to continue cooking this um, and both of the kids are obviously completely exhausted for some reason obviously they stayed up pretty late um well he's okay and she's okay as well so i'm going to do a little bit of a test run um with my dungeon uh, where's richard where are you you're here why do you leave all this food all the time oh my god you're so gross go clean it up you nasty. Mm. Okay, so there's no... I'm actually going to buy it right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to buy a bin and have the bin down here. Just so that they won't... Which one? I'm just going to have a basic one. I'm going to have this because this looks super like... This belongs in here, I guess. Um, and I'm gonna put it right, I'm gonna do this, CC move objects on, and I'm gonna do there. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Richard, I'm gonna do play mode, and then I'm gonna get Richard to get down here and clean up the mess that he made. Like, that's disgusting. Clean. Go on. Come on. So it's Sunday, so both kids have free from school, and that is awesome. They can sleep as long as they want to. Um, and Emily has reached part two in cooking, so that's great. So I, obviously I don't, they do not know anyone yet, they've just moved in, um, they haven't met anyone, and the weird thing is I haven't had like a welcome coming to you, that's, usually when you move in in The Sims 4 there are like people coming to greet you, maybe people know that this is a creepy family or something, but I'll, huh, I'll go to the park, that's what I'll do, and I'll invite someone home. Are there only kids there? That's weird. I'm not gonna do it to kids. Like, that would be too weird. Um, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna sit there until someone comes and I can talk to them. Um, which is also a pretty weird thing to do, isn't it? Now that I think about it. So, right there. We're gonna sit down. And as soon as someone comes around... You're gonna go and introduce yourself, um, but no one's coming. How does this happen all the time? Whenever I'm looking at like a park on The Sims, there's always so many people here, and then whenever, you know, I wouldn't do anything, there's no one here. Hmm. So weird. Is there something weird about that tree? No, it's just big. Um, so yeah, there is obviously, he's, okay, he's now working out, which is obviously very important at this stage, like you're about to kidnap someone, so yes, uh, work out, sweetheart, work out. Um, why is there no one here? Do not go and talk to that kid, that kid has not, not done you anything wrong. Huh. Is that a kid as well? Yeah. Why though? What? Where are all the grown-ups? There, there is one person. Ha ha ha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Stop right there, stop. Why can't you go and talk to him? Okay, so you gotta go here and you're gonna stand here until someone comes to meet you. There you go. Hate. Where did he go? Oh my god, I can't believe he just disappeared on me. Okay, whatever. Um. Oh my god, do you guys see this? Like, there has been so many people walking here, and now that I'm here, there's not one single person. There's only kids. It's like the game wants me to take one of the kids. I'm not kidnapping a kid, that's weird. Actually, it's weird anyways, but, you know, I'm a dark. Like, you are probably going to think that I'm insane for doing this. <laughs> this is such a weird thing. But I wanted to mix up, like, the dungeon challenge and the um, prison challenge uh, without copying any of them. So I am going to mix it up a little bit and just do a few changes and and um, hopefully it will be okay and hopefully you guys lo love it. Um, if you do, please let me know in the comment section below and, and I will know and I will continue doing it. I think this is, could be like a really long um, episode let's, of Let's Play. Um, okay, so there are no grown-ups outside today, obviously. I don't know if it's, it's like a Sunday thing or something. But I've been spending the entire day outside and there's no one here. Is that a kid? Yeah, that's a kid. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just have to wait another day. Or, you know, what I could do is I could actually... I have an idea. So I'm gonna go home and I'm going to go to the bathroom. 
um, because I do not like my sims to go on public bathrooms. That's disgusting. I, in real life, I have, you know, a really, like, phobia against public restrooms and stuff like that. I hate it. I cannot use them. So I never let my sims do it either. Um, and it's kind of weird, but I just don't. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be traveling a little bit. I'm gonna get out my phone and I'm going to go somewhere. But where am I going? I'm gonna go with Emily, with my beautiful wife, to where? Okay, I will meet Emily. There it says. This is going to be fun. Where are we going? Oh my god, you guys. This game has been so slow lately. So for some reason, the game wouldn't let me um, record their, um, the loading screen. And obviously, I don't know if you guys know this, um, but I am using the pre belt camera in the sims to record all of my videos because I've been using like some um, recorders and stuff and they just work so badly like there's something honestly like wrong with it um, and I'm gonna check what it says here okay so now we are at a club and I'm going to get to know someone um, they have not changed their clothes yet have there no so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Emily to change into her clothes because she's kind of a snob and she as you can see she looks like a snob no you need to change your clothes so you need to go into party how do you look when you party I don't remember how I hmm I think I'm going to do this one, although I don't remember how it is. Where is Richard? Are you seriously sleeping there? What is wrong with this family? They just sleep everywhere. You cannot beat that. Well, obviously it's a little bit late, but you know. Okay, so Emily is going to do all the work for us. Richard can just sleep there tight and just have fun. Um, so she's going to change into her party clothes. Why, there you go. She looks so different, right? Um, yeah, I don't like that dress. Uh, I will probably change that pretty soon. For some reason, I don't like that dress. Like, that is a little bit too short for a grown-ass woman, in my opinion. Well, it's a little bit short for a lot of things, <laughs> but okay, whatever. So she is going to go downstairs, she is going to get to know someone, and then she will invite him. He looks weird. He looks like a victim. So I'm going to go introduce myself. Well, Emily, sorry. Emily is going to go introduce herself, and they're going to chat, and they're going to be friends, and then she's going to invite him home, which is going to sound really weird. Um, but yeah, let's be friends. So have a deep conversation. I'm going to have, she's going to talk to him and talk to him some more. Have a fun day, blah, blah, blah. Um, give a hug and just, you know, brag about family. So yeah. That is what you're gonna do, and they're going to start t being friends. Like you see, he likes her. He likes her a lot. And they're dancing. Well, he's dancing. I don't know what she's doing. If that's a dance or not, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so now they're friends. Um, and what can we do? Do 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 do. Uh, share insecurities. That's a good thing to do with someone you don't know. Um, friends. Uh, tell a dramatic story. Yes. 
and I kind of want to do something a little bit negative because obviously I want them to not like him. I'm not going to be kidnapping people that I just like. Um, that would be weird. I'm going to kidnap people who my sims do not like. Um, they're, they have to do something or say something and be negative or whatever. And Oh my god, the recording of this video is so slow, right? Is it just me or... Okay, they're dancing, they're talking, they're dancing. Is Richard still sleeping? No, he's awake. Now oh, you sit there. Emily's having the fun. All the fun. Okay, so... Now, maybe it's a little bit early to invite him home. But I'm not, I'm gonna try to invite him home, actually. I'm going to do like this and mm, 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 more, more, no, they it won't let me do it yet. Maybe if I go like to a romantic thing, I'm gonna do ask if single. Maybe he's single. If he's single, she can flirt a little bit with him and then huh, and then I will have Richard come and save the day. Yeah, so he's single um, and that's great news for us. Um, and then she can flirt a little bit. Obviously this mom, she's beautiful but she doesn't really get all of the attention that she needs from Richard because of his, you know, secret. He Obviously, Emily knows about it, but um, I don't really think that she will be having a part in it. She will go out, have fun, and then maybe flirt with some guys, and then he will get mad, and then he will come and kidnap them and keep them in the dungeon until they're so sorry or until they die. That depends on, you know, what happens first. So I will go here. Okay, someone just downloaded my um, house. That's great. Thank you so much for that, whoever you are. Um, let's go to flirt. Let's flirt a little bit. I think that would be nice. Maybe he doesn't like that. Oh yes, he did. He's a flirter. You're not falling asleep. Do not fall asleep. You're flirting with him. You are going to continue flirting. Give him your number. That's always a good idea when you're married. If you didn't know that I'm being sarcastic. Um, okay, what happened? Come back. Okay. So she's standing there. She's giving her his her number and he is too. Okay, so it says that he's outgoing. That that fits very well into my schedule basically that's gonna be amazing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have her flirt a little bit more just to have him and uh, there you go so she's now gonna tell him that she is attracted to him and we'll see what happens So he's, if he now turns her down, uh, she will be the one who does the kidnapping. If not, there you go. <laughs> now, this is the thing about this family. So this family likes to be rich. It likes to be on top. It likes to be in charge and in control. And obviously, as you just saw, Emily was now just um, rejected. Uh, she told him she had been flirting with this guy. What's even his name? Like, I don't know who this is. What's his name? Joaquin. Joaquin Lechain. Lechain or whatever. Okay, so um, he just rejected her. Now, he's been flirting with her as well all night. And now he just rejected her. And she does not like it. Now, she's a woman who gets what she wants. And when she wants something, she gets it. So, she's now going to ask him to come home with her. Um, mm, 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 mm. 
But how? Because he doesn't want to. Okay, so they're going to go on a date. Or oh, she's going to ask him out on a date. I'm pretty sure he's going to say no. Because obviously, actually no, he said yes. Which is weird. Basically, what I'm going to do, obviously I'm not going to be able to uh, make this a great date. But I don't care. So I'm going to get him to come with me to one of the rooms in the dungeon to one of the dungeons um, and I'm gonna do this and he will be able to come here with me then I'm gonna lock him in there I'm gonna take with the door and I'm just going to check if it works because I haven't checked it yet so you guys are basically with me on the first try why does he not want it wait 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 why doesn't she want to go there do I care that you're tired? This guy basically rejected you. Where is he, by the way? Excuse me? Did he just leave? Where is he? Oh, he's there. So why in the world? Oh my god. Okay. Um. Okay. Great. So I had blocked the door, but anyways, so I'm gonna go in here with him. No sleeping, Missy, no sleeping. Like, this is very important. You need this. You need to let him know that he is not the person who can choose, but now he doesn't want to come with you. Why, though? Where is he now? Oh my god, this guy is going to drive me insane. Who, how dare you sit in my house and drink whatever you're drinking? This is not okay. This is not okay. Okay. So, forget that. Come here. Mm, this is weird. This is super weird. Okay, so now I need to wait for her to get there as, she, as soon as she gets there. Where is she? Why is she taking so long? Okay. Oh my god, poor woman. She is exhausted. You'll sleep soon enough. Don't worry about it. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him in here. Um, why doesn't he want to go with, though? Okay, so I'm going to go here. Nope. He doesn't want to go there either. What a sleaze bag. Okay, so what about here? Are you serious? Wait, are my kids waking up? Oh my god, my kids cannot see this human being. Okay, so what I gotta do is I gotta go upstairs and get her to watch some television before she goes to school. Oh my god, it's 3.43. I probably woke my kid up. Oh well. It's okay. So, yeah. She needs to... Oh my god. She's gonna see him. Nope, she turned around the stairs and she's not gonna see him. Excuse me. What is wrong with you? You're not allowed upstairs. You're not going into my bedroom and you're not talking to my children. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, huh, so if I go down here, if I go down here, no, I'm not going to go down there. What I can do is I can, like, hmm, why in the world will you not let me obviously you're not allowed to swim naked when there's kids around um, but there has to be something that I can lure him with okay so if I sit down here no it won't let me okay this is a huge fail you just saw me fail um, Oh my god, this is so unfair. I want to stop him. I don't want him to 
get to know my kids so my kids like that's the entire thing like the kids cannot know that this is going on until the one one of them um is a teenager there will always be one who has no idea what's going on um the last one to age will never find out about this um secret um and that's very important so obviously she i don't want them to get to know the person who we are kidnapping by the way richard is still at the club what is wrong with him what is wrong with him um okay bring him back um Mimi Richards should be the person to basically no. Okay, if I can call him Nope. I cannot. Actually that's just it. If I can go back and I can get like make a crazy idea, what does that even mean? Okay. So, we are now talking, aren't we? Uh, yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. Why can't we go in group or go together or whatever? I'm going to go down there. Where is he now? He's just standing there and my husband just walked past him like as if nothing ever happened. This is so weird. Okay, so he's gonna come downstairs, come outside, and I am going here. And you're coming with me, sweetheart. You just don't know about it. Um, you see my problem? Why can't I call him? Huh. They just won't let me take him with me down there. It's so weird. Okay. So what if I go down here? Okay, I need to hurry because the date is almost over. And obviously... Oh, he's coming with me. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. Come on. Walk, 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 hurry, 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 hurry. Perfect. Oh my god, he is walking, like, he's walking right into it. And I'm not even doing anything. That is the funniest thing ever. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. Actually, I'm gonna go here. Is he gonna follow me? I don't know if he is. You see, now I'm not allowed to call him. And I don't know how to get him down there. So, what I will do is I will basically just hope that he won't turn around and go up. And he will... Yes, he followed me. Oh my god. He is following me down. And obviously, as you can see, she is exhausted. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. You are not. Is he coming? Yes, he is. He's following me inside one of the rooms. This is going to be hilarious. He's going to stay here. He just does not. Do not go outside. Do not go outside. Okay, so come here and talk to me. Um, yes, perfect. Now go outside hurry go outside don't talk to him don't talk to him just leave leave the room leave him in there walk outside perfect now we're going to oh my god this is so fun this is so exciting um no i'm gonna have to build it up and then i'm going to take away the door now there is a window and i don't know if that is going to because I tried doing like a prison challenge a few weeks ago and somehow they all disappeared during like the night and there was only a window. So I don't know, I'm gonna leave it there and test it. Um, it's, 
it has taken me a long time to get him there but yeah I don't care so now we're ending the date I'm ending the date and he is still here um, and actually sweetheart you can go to bed here if you want to like you don't really have to um, yeah you don't have to go upstairs I mean obviously you, she would never sleep here and her kids are probably gonna wonder where she is uh, can he walk outside? Okay, so I'm just gonna leave her there, not check anything. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna check the kids, if the kids, you know, um, they're fed. Perfect, perfect. Uh, what about him? Everything is okay. When are they starting school? Um, okay, in two days. No, in two hours, okay. And Richard is where? Upstairs sleeping. Okay, so everyone is perfect. And obviously, I don't think that she should sleep there. I'm go just gonna let her get like a few minutes. Um, and then I'm going to get her to get up and go back to her room because obviously, okay, mm, right now. So I'm gonna wake her up and then she is going upstairs and she can go to bed with her. Obviously she should probably take a shower first because I think she looks kind of disgusting. Um, she's just gonna take a quick shower and then go to bed and that will be what happens in the first episode basically so perfect perfect she's gonna go up take a shower the kids are going to bed no the kids are going to school uh, in one hour and they're all well they're hungry but they're eating so that's good um, I've just realized that I don't really pay that much attention to my children which is obviously very important he is still there which he's his name is Joaquin um, and he is he still here and he has a bathroom and he has a bed and he has a sink and that's about it oh <gasps> what are the kids doing here no okay we're just gonna ignore that basically just going to ignore that obviously the door is supposed to be locked anyways why aren't you in school that's the weirdest thing ever you need to go to school kid um, but I'm pretty sure he will be the mean child to inherit everything just there's just a creepy vibe with him like there's something really weird so perfect the kids are in school and now Richard has to block the door um, <laughs> to everyone except Richard okay so Richard is in charge of this um, okay so is he still there yes he is still there and that is perfect so uh, this is episode one of the dungeon part let's play uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this is obviously as I said earlier this is just going to be like a test run I'm going to get a little bit more into it um, as we move on on to next episodes um, but yeah I really hope that you liked the idea if you did please give this video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you haven't already and become part of the family and I will talk to you next time have a great day bye